Challenging the age of the universe are we standing on the edge of a cosmic revolution? For much of human history, we believed that the entire universe everything that ever was or ever would be existed solely within our own Milky Way galaxy. It was a comforting notion, one that placed us at the heart of creation. But everything changed in 1928, when astronomer Edwin Hubble made a groundbreaking discovery. By carefully analyzing the light from distant galaxies, Hubble realized that these galaxies weren't standing still they were moving away from us. In fact, the entire universe was expanding. This insight was revolutionary. It shattered centuries-old assumptions and laid the foundation for modern cosmology. It led to the concept of the Big Bang the idea that the universe began as a single, infinitely dense point, and has been expanding ever since. Fast forward to 1997. The Hubble Space Telescope, named in honor of Edwin Hubble, made yet another astonishing observation. Scientists expected that the expansion of the universe would be slowing down due to gravity. But what they found was the opposite the universe's expansion was accelerating. This acceleration was driven by an unseen and mysterious force that scientists came to call dark energy. Based on this discovery, cosmologists revised their estimates of the universe's age to about 13.8 billion years. But recent discoveries are beginning to challenge this well-established timeline. Deep within our very own Milky Way galaxy lies a dense and ancient star cluster known as Messier 92, or M92 for short. This cluster has puzzled astronomers for decades. Why? Because the stars within it appear to be nearly as old as the universe itself about 13.8 billion years. Incredibly, some estimates even suggest these stars might be older. This raises a fundamental and deeply troubling question. How can stars be as old or possibly even older than the universe that gave birth to them? Using state-of-the-art simulations and statistical models, astronomers created over 20,000 synthetic star populations to better understand M92's age. The results they got pushed the limits of our current models and our imagination. If M92 is truly that ancient, then perhaps our timeline of the universe is not just off it could be fundamentally flawed. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced and powerful space observatory to date. Designed to peer deep into the earliest epochs of the cosmos, Webb has the ability to look farther into space and thus further back in time than any instrument before it. And what it has seen is nothing short of astonishing. Webb has captured images of galaxies that existed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. But here's the twist these galaxies are far too massive, structured, and evolved for their supposed age. According to current models, galaxies of this size and complexity should have taken billions of years to form. Yet, here they are fully developed and glowing brightly in the early universe. This raises a bold possibility. Could the universe be older than 13.8 billion years? A growing number of scientists think so. Some are now proposing a radical new model one in which the universe might be as old as 26.7 billion years. This new hypothesis doesn't just stretch the timeline it rewrites it completely. It suggests that the current understanding of cosmic expansion, star formation, and galactic evolution is incomplete or even fundamentally flawed. New Frontiers from Methuselah to the Multiverse One of the most puzzling pieces of this cosmic jigsaw is the so-called Methuselah star officially named HD 140,283. This star has been measured at an estimated age of 14.5 billion years nearly a billion years older than the universe itself, if we go by traditional calculations. That should be impossible. Stars, like all other objects in the universe, are supposed to be created after the Big Bang not before. Stars follow predictable life cycles based on their mass and composition. Yet Methuselah seems to be aging at a slower pace than the rest of the universe defying logic, physics, and common sense. It's not just a curiosity. It's a glaring inconsistency a beacon that suggests there's something deeply wrong with our models of cosmic time. At the center of this debate lies a critical number, the Hubble constant. This value describes the rate at which the universe is expanding and is key to determining its age. But here's the problem. Two major ways of measuring the Hubble constant yield conflicting results. 
Observations from the early universe, using the cosmic microwave background, suggest a value of around 68 km per second per megaparsec. Meanwhile, measurements from the modern universe, using nearby stars and galaxies, suggest a faster rate closer to 73 km per second per megaparsec. This disagreement is known as the Hubble tension, and it's one of the biggest unresolved issues in astrophysics. If we can't even agree on the universe's expansion rate, how can we possibly determine its true age? Some scientists are now considering whether the answers lie beyond known physics. Could it be that dark energy itself isn't constant, but evolving over time? If so, this would radically change how we understand the universe's expansion potentially reconciling many of the anomalies we observe today. Even more fascinating are the findings from Webb that hint at a cyclic universe or cosmos that goes through repeated cycles of expansion and contraction. In this theory, the universe doesn't have one singular beginning, but countless cycles of big bangs and big crunches. If true, then the galaxies we're seeing from the early universe could be echoes from a previous cycle, remnants of a universe that came before our own. Then there's the multiverse theory the idea that our universe may be just one of many, each with its own laws, constants, and timelines. If we are, in fact, living in a multiverse, then many of the so-called contradictions in our data might make perfect sense because they could be influenced by, or connected to, neighboring universes. Another mystery uncovered by the James Webb Telescope revolves around primordial black holes. These are hypothetical black holes that may have formed in the very earliest moments of the universe perhaps even before stars and galaxies. If these objects exist, they could explain how galaxies formed so rapidly after the Big Bang acting as gravitational anchors that helped matter come together much faster than current models allow. But if primordial black holes are real, then what else from the early universe might we be missing? The mystery deepens at the quantum level where even the concept of time begins to break down. Quantum theories suggest that the early universe could have undergone wild fluctuations, spawning galaxies or even warping time itself in ways that defy classical understanding. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope has not only allowed us to see deeper into the cosmos, but also to question everything we thought we knew about it. From impossibly old stars to galaxies that shouldn't yet exist, the discoveries we are making could represent the dawn of a new scientific era. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? What if it's 26.7 billion years, or even timeless? What if our universe is merely one part of a multiversal epoch, far grander and stranger than we ever imagined? One thing is clear. The James Webb Telescope is not just a marvel of technology it's a cosmic time machine, a storyteller, and perhaps our greatest key to understanding existence. With every image it sends back, it pushes us to ask deeper questions, challenge accepted truths, and embrace the unknown. So, what do you think? Are we standing on the brink of a cosmic revolution? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible journeys.